Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video number 37, we have learned how to install MySQL in Next.js 14 or latest one and how to create a custom library in JavaScript to execute all the curd operation using MySQL 2 library that we have tested. If you have not watched that video, please watch that also because of that video you can understand the second video. Now in this video number 38, we are going to learn how to display data from MySQL in a HTML table in Next.js 14 or above. So for that we go to the project and here in this project last time we have tested this this time i am going to create a separate component for display data so here i say uh, display student info.js because i am going to create a react component so i say r a f c e and here i am going to display that for that what i am doing i am doing a uh, server side rendering so I'm not using any hook here because I'm going to use server action that execute at server side. So for that this library I have to use as I import it here. So I'm not using this library here. I have to remove from here. So I'm just cutting it from here. I cut it from here and here I use it and uh, here also I just cut this library also from here right now because here I'm not using it and uh, I need uh, here this library so this is this library this one I'm using here and I'm not using it here so I'm removing this also go there and because it's await is area so we have to put async here for executing it server side now result is here I have to display this information in a tabular form for that in this dev I say h2 or I can say h3 and I say student information like this uh, then I create a table and under this table I uh, give class name also bootstrap class so I say class name here I say table and I say table I say here warning that I can say table dark I can say like this so under this what I do I create tr first of all and in this tr because it would be header I say class name and I say that would be table warning that I am giving here and here I say th th is student id first of all then second one is th I say student name also then I say th student course I think three informations are there and uh, I can check the information uh, just by displaying all the information in JSON format then I can verify all the field so there is the result here and remember that this component i have to add here so i am executing or adding this information here so i say display student information like that i am using it and if i go there and you see that we have a uh, id course and name three fields are there only and we have created a student id student name and student course that we have created now i have to design it to the center of the page for that uh, here i say class name so i say text center save this so if i say this you see the student information is coming in the center now table uh, i have to use for that i have a table and uh, table dark table warning so i think this is not executing so here center is there table is there then i say text center here and table is here table dark is here dark table is not coming like this we have this information tr we have 
table warning we have and uh, I can also use container here in dev tag I say class name container save this now I see this it is coming in center so now I can remove this information no need of this after that uh, I have to display information by using result dot map and in this map function we have this arrow function and here I have a student as information and here I need this again like this and I paste it here in place of th I say td we have a td here remember td here then here in place of this I have to display student dot sid like this then I have to display student dot name like this and I have to display student dot course like this save this and I have to give key also so for that I say key equal to student dot sid save this so key is done everything is done you see data is coming in tabular form everything is okay now but one thing is there that bootstrap is not working the tabular while tabular bootstrap uh, table table dark and table this is not working why class name container is working text center is working table warning is not working so and i say refresh and you see that it executing properly but we having a some error so this error is matching tr so we try to do this for that I put here T head and under this T head I put this TR like this and then under the body of T body like this I put this one all the data try to execute now and I refresh it and uh, you see it is running properly so server side rendering tags are there T body and t had we have to insert otherwise it will generate some error for rendering so we can put here t had and we can put here t body now you see error is gone so everything is okay and fine we had some problem because of the wrong syntax i have taken for generating a table at server side rendering so we have to take body and this so data is coming here now i think we have done how to display data from mysql using server side rendering so in this uh, PPT, we just have a one question, how to display, how to fetch data from MySQL to display in HTML table and latest next year's 14 and above version. So I think we've done this in next video. We see how to generate a form to insert information in the same MySQL using server action. Remember that we are going to use server action. So if you like this video, please do subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.